what's up youtube welcome to our video in this video we will learn how we can retrieve different kind of data from the firestore database to the c sharp application so let's begin we will experiment with this data i have stored of some cities uh, of my country so this is my hometown and some other cities from different provinces and they each have data of is the city capital of the province or not the population and the province so let's see how we can retrieve all this data into our c sharp application so in the video getting started with firestore we created this firestore object and then we gave the credentials of the, of our application with the help of this json file which we have downloaded from the project settings of the firestore and then we created this token to connect us with the firestore in the next video we created some methods to insert data into our firestore so this is the application design which is pretty simple i need a rich text box so now we leave this button one click event blank for now and we are about to create some retrieval methods a sync void get all data of our document so first of all we need a document reference so a document reference doc ref equals to database dot collection my cities dot document so we need the information of the city karachi so now we have the reference of the data which we want to retrieve now we will get the actual data from it so for that document snapshot snap equals to docref dot get snapshot and this should be await so with this line we will get the actual data which we required so the data of the city karachi then if the snapshot exists dictionary and string and object so this type is basically equivalent to the firestore key and value if you don't know about key and value you should uh, watch the getting started video so the city equals to snap dot to dictionary so after getting the data uh, from the snap in the form of c sharp dictionary we will extract it line by line so for this we need a for each loop and change this collection to city now inside this we will fill the rich text box so rich text box dot text equals to string dot format and inside this we will introduce two placeholders so the first is item dot key and the second one is item dot value and we actually need this to be a plus equals to and after each line we need a line break so through this we will retrieve uh, all the information of the city karachi line by line so this item key and item value will act like first the key would be is capital and value would be false then population is the key and the value is this number then the third one so it would act like that so now we will test it out copy this paste it here and then run so when we press the button the data is retrieved now we will create a method to get specific data from a document so for that i will be needing some text boxes now let's name them now we will retrieve data in these text boxes 
so for that we also need a class so go to the solution explorer in the solution right click add class and it should be public fire store data and also declare the google fire google cloud fire store inside this we need some properties so prop and press tab change the type to string and province then copy this and paste it three times now we have to also declare that these are firestore property so our class would be structured like this now save it and close it then back to our specific data method so i'm gonna copy all this paste it here and change the all to specific data and just change this to city equals to and we will convert the data of the snap into a city type class now we can easily access the specific data we required from our document so for the first text box of province we need the city province and then city dot is capital dot to string so I will copy this and paste it in the button event now let's check this when I press the button the data has appeared so the Karachi is in Sindh province yes it is a capital and then the population this true does not make any sense to a general user so if you want yes to be appeared instead of true you can use this here so it is as simple as this now we will create a method to get all the documents from a collection so for that copy the above method now to perform this we need a query instead of document reference so we need a query reference so we will name it qref and then we will remove the uh, document section and here we need a query snapshot as well so this will get us the address of my cities so the reference of my cities and then this full this would get us the list of all cities which are our documents now i would have to create a for each loop for each of the documents then inside this loop a city object doc snap dot convert to city so as we have the data of a city inside our city object we would extract its information inside the rich text box so if doc snap dot exist first of all we would get the name of the document or the city then rich text box dot text plus equals to city dot province we don't need this now let's start when we click the button all the data of the cities are available city name and their data and the yes and the no now we will create a method which would get us uh, multiple documents on some basis if we want only the cities which are the provincial capitals we can do that with this method so we would get multiple but selective documents on some basis
and it's actually pretty easy to create as you have learned the uh, method to get all the documents you have to write a little query which is where equals to and you have to get some parameter for it to run so if we only want the data of the uh, provincial capitals we can say is capital true so this is how we can get all the cities which are capital so let's check this out now we have only two records because these are the provincial capitals we can also apply multiple queries within the same line so to apply multiple queries you can do this dot we are equals to now i'm applying another query the province should be sin so this would work as well and you can get as many queries as you want so you can limit the records so only the first record should be retrieved and you can also set the order so the order by would send the order into the ascending and this would set the order into the de descending so i want the ascending so so this is how queries work so this is all for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time